Hello, this is James Mabley. I wanted to take you through a number of sculptures which I have in the studio which are available for purchase. Now, I have a photograph of myself on the first slide, uh, not ready to show you my new hairstyle, but rather to give you an idea of the size of the next three pieces we're going to be looking at. The first one is Begone. Now, Begone is based on an incident that occurred to me a while back. Rather foolishly, I got a bit close to an elephant who then did a mock charge towards me. I can tell you, it was terrifying. The whole incident left me shaking like a leaf. It's a great piece of sculpture. Hopefully, it gets a sense of the energy of the elephant in that moment of tossing its head. Here it is from a different angle, and you can really get a sense of that thrust of energy towards me. This one is called Eating Titbits and is of an elephant browsing gently along, similar sort of size to the previous one. What I particularly like are the angles and the shapes. If you notice the three legs lining up and the trunk stretched out to one side. The other thing that I really like about this uh, sculpture is the texture, the variation of texture, particularly on the back side and then the stomach, which you can see, and we can see it in the ears as well. It's a really, really attractive piece of sculpture. This one is called Reaching Up. Reaching Up, again, is about the same size as the other two. This is a very typical position of an elephant uh, reaching up into an acacia tree, trying to get at the albedo pods, and uh, one of those scenes which is so common. What I like about this sculpture is it really gives you the three-dimensional image and you can walk right round the elephant and see the various positions that it would be in from different angles. Now this sculpture is a slightly smaller one than the previous ones and is of a similar incident where the elephant is reaching right up into the trees when it's eaten all the ones it can reach with all four legs on the ground it has no alternative but to stand on two legs. The process is a difficult one because the weight on the knees and the hips must be quite extraordinary. They can only stay up for 30 to 40 seconds maximum and then they come down again to rest. This is a really attractive piece and has gone really well, sold worldwide. Now this is a complete change away from elephants. This is boxing hares, typical of what we have in Suffolk here on the farm. And this you often see in March, April, May before the uh, grass gets too high. And it's always originally thought to be the two males boxing over the females. In fact, it's now widely recognized as the female keeping the males off her. So a very different picture. You can see the uh, image from a different angle in this photo here. The next one is called Busy Cockerel. This particular cockerel I made, initially I made it in plaster and steel, and the tail was made out of straw mixed with plaster of Paris, which gives it that amazing feeling that you see in the sculpture. It is a really nice piece. It's about the same size as the elephants that you've seen. So the tail would be, the height of the tail would be roughly the same size as the elephants. This is a wildebeest, a leaping wildebeest. As you know, they are very agile and very uh, sprightly and excitable creatures. And I think this captures the leap of a wildebeest as it would leap, uh, say, for example, into the river on a way across during their migration on the plains in Tanzania. Here's a picture from a different angle. Same leap, just a different pers perspective of the same sculpture. This here is a fox. This isn't a very large sculpture. A fox leaping up and down onto something, perhaps some poor mouse that happens to be walking past. I witnessed this happening on the farm several years ago and turned that into a piece of sculpture. And I think it works really well. You see it from a different angle here uh, as it hovers in the air just about to land on the poor unsuspecting creature. And this is a racing whippet. This is the last in the series of this uh, particular sculpture. It has been really popular. It is a really nice piece of sculpture. So if you're interested in whippets, this is a must. And that really is the end of the presentation. My website is at www.mableyart.com. 
and if you're interested at all please contact me via the website and then we can discuss the purchase of any of these sculptures. If you would like to commission me to do some work for you then please contact me via the website and if you're interested in doing art for yourself then do please look at some of the courses I'm offering. I look forward to hearing from you.